हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बोन्स नाउ बोन्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज लॉन्ग बोन्स शॉर्ट बोन्स एज यू कैन सी इट इज़ अ लॉन्ग बोन दिस इज अ शॉर्ट बोन देन वी हैव फ्लैट बोन्स यू कैन सी हेयर सम फ्लैट बोन्स ऑल्सो like this is some sort of flat bones now or ribs they are also flat bones now we have irregular bones like oscoxy you know oscoxy oscoxy is hip bone then we have pneumatic bones what are these pneumatic bones we will study in detail but but at this particular time you can see these are the bones present in eaves mainly so that they can fly easily then we have sesamoid sesamoid bones like this is a sesamoid bone then we have visceral bone what are visceral bone visceral bone are those bones which are present inside visceral or internal organs now let's discuss one by one about these bones now firstly let us talk about long bones so what is this long bone long bone is a long hollow cylindrical bones of limb generally in limbs you find these long bones these are cylindrical in shape this kind of shape they are weight bearing bones okay the whole body consists of various parts but mainly the weight of the body is carried out by these long bones your ribs do not carry or your flat bone do not carry the weight but your long bone does like femur okay now it has a body or shaft and two extended ends as i showed you in the previous lecture also this is a typical type of long bone like femur so it has this cylindrical portion which is known as diaphysis or shaft it has two extremities this and this which are known as epiphysis and there was having an epiphyseal plate which forms metaphysis in the maturation period so in these extremities or in epiphysis we generally found spongy bone here we have medullary cavity and this is compact bone so they ossify in cartilage this is also an important point that long bones generally ossify in cartilage what does it means it means that long bones are earlier what they were earlier cartilage and with time they changed into compact bones in the form of long bones examples are humerus find in the arm region and femur find in the leg region now long bones has been further classified into two subtypes the first one is modified long bones like we have ulna you can see ulna in your forearm region fibula of cow dog and horse <coughs> you might have heard about tibia and fibula you know in horse this is modified this is also it has another term also which we will study in the lower region but at this particular point of time you just have to keep in mind the examples of modified long bones ulna and fibula of cow dog and horse now secondly we have miniature long bones in miniature long bones we generally find small size cylindrical bones these are small size cylindrical bones like you have metacarpals in dog metacarpals of dog are generally miniature long bones now let's see the structure of a long bone as i said it contains two extremities known as epiphysis the middle cylindrical region made of compact bone known as diaphysis the structure formed by the epiphyseal plate as metaphysis okay <coughs> typically this long bone consists of shaft diaphysis and two extremities known as epiphysis 
द मेटाफाइसिस इज द नेक पोर्शन ऑफ लॉन्ग बोन बिटवीन एपीफाइसिस एंड डायाफाइसिस सो दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन बिटवीन एपीफाइसिस एंड डायाफाइसिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेटाफाइसिस डायाफाइसिस एंड एपीफाइसिस दिस इज डायाफाइसिस दिस इज एपीफाइस रीजन बिटवीन दीज टू इज नाउन इज मेटाफाइसिस नाउ हाउ दिस मेटाफाइसिस इज फॉर्म ड्यूरिंग डिवेलपमेंट वट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग डिवेलपमेंट वट हैपन्स दैट ईच एंड is separated from shaft by a plate this and this extremity is separated by the shaft by an epiphyseal plate by which plate epiphyseal plate this epiphyseal plate grows to form metaphyses this epiphyseal plate grows to form metaphyses okay now let's have a look on aborted bones what are aborted bones aborted bones are such bones the they are also long bones which do not get developed completely as ulna in case of horse okay you you uh, have to see that in horse the ulna is not completely developed so such bones are known as aborted bones now there is one thing which you have to remember about aborted bones that their medullary cavity is small or sometimes absent why because they are not completely developed now so that is a reason now another type of long bone is elongated long bone now elongated long bones you find as your ribs your ribs are also long bones but they are elongated and they lack the medullary cavity instead of this medullary cavity they have cancellous bone there or spongy bone now let us discuss about short bones what are these short bones they these are small pieces what small pieces of partially smooth surfaced bones so they are not completely smooth but they are partially smooth surfaced and they are present in small pieces like your carpals and your tarsals they are generally found in the joint region and they generally help in motility okay now most of the short bones are present in present six surfaces six surfaces are there generally in short bones now the next one is sesamoid bones like you can see in this particular region also these are carpals and tarsals where your short bone is present this is your flat bone irregular bone sutural bones sesamoid bones okay so these are the certain structures which you have to keep in mind now let us discuss about sesamoid bones they are sesame like you have heard about these sesame seeds so the sesamoid bones are like them they develop with in tendon and ossify after birth what it means that means they develop after birth and they develop with in tendon like your patella patella and one thing you have to remember that patella is the largest sesamoid bone patella is the largest sesamoid bone and sesamoid bone have no haversian system also no periosteum perio what was periosteum as i told you in earlier classes that periosteum is a layer of fibrous tissue around compact bone which is non articular okay now let us discuss about visceral also known as splanchnic bones they consist of certain bones which develops in viscera or soft bones okay like os penis in the penis of dog dog has os penis in his penis so it is a bone in its penis so it's a type of visceral organ then we have os cordis in the heart of ruminants we have more examples of splanchnic or visceral bones but these two you can remember them now we have flat bones flat they are flat as well as they ha- they are irregular 
plate like bones like you can see here this is a type of flat bone like in the periphery they have compact bones and in the middle they have cancellous or spongy bone now these flat bone provide protection to important organs of body like we have many important organs in our body what are these important organs like our brain our brain is surrounded by skull so the skull is also type of flat bone now they generally consist of two plate of compact bones with intervening spongy bone like this is two plate of compact bone between these we have spongy bone and this particular uh, thing is known as diplo okay diploid now what is diploid it is a spongy bone tissue between external and internal layer of skull or you can also define it as diplo is the region of spongy bone which is covered on two sides by the compact bone that is known as diplo now what are the examples of flat bone in girdle region flat bones are for muscle attachment so in girdle region you generally find certain bones through which muscles are attached and as i earlier told in skull we find flat bones for protection of certain sense organ like our brain now we have these pneumatic bones so pneumatic bones contain air spaces in them instead of spongy tissue like you so in many bone there were compact tissue or compact bone or there was having spongy bone but in case of pneumatic bones they have certain air spaces due to which they become less weight like humerus of fowl you might have seen humerus of fowl in your life and you will see that inside that humerus bone you will find certain air cavities also our frontal bone frontal our frontal bone also has these air cavities in them why to get a less weight our maxilla ethmoid in mammals also okay now we the last type of uh, bone we are going to study is irregular bones so irregular bones are the bones which have irregular surfaces like our vertebras vertebral column like i showed you in this particular diagram this is a typical uh, vertebra and it has irregular surfaces that's why it is known as irregular bone now they are generally found in axial skeleton as you know in your uh, plus 2 that there were there was a axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton in axial skeleton we were having the this kind of thing um, uh, brain and other kind of things we were having an appendicular we were having limbs and other kind of thing so these are also unpaired bones they are not having certain pairs irregular bones okay like bones of vertebral column so this was all about the classification of bones this is very important for your exams and for your concert building thanks